I haven't talked about Black Panther 2 in a while, really since the passing of Chadwick Boseman, because it it was such a huge loss that it's it's really hard to believe and hard to realize that this actually happened, like he he's gone and it it's still hard to talk about, still hard to think about and and there's plenty of rumors about this movie that I could have made videos about over the past couple months, but it 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 just didn't seem right. But now we have actually some pretty big news about this movie now. Um that's being reported for, by the big trades in Hollywood that actually came out last night. Um so I figured I'd talk about that. Um so first of all, um the production is going to be starting around July. Um and originally it was going to start filming in I think April maybe. Um, but now it's not going to start until July because obviously they had to delay some stuff and uh, they had to rewrite some stuff and change things around. Then also for the cast here, um, Angela Bassett will return as Queen Ramonda. Winston Duke will return as M'Baku. And of course, Letitia Wright will return as Shuri. But on that front, it has been confirmed that Shuri will be having a much more prominent role and she'll be have a lo- much larger presence in the movie, which makes sense because I, I, I think pretty much everyone is go- is assuming that she is going to become the next Black Panther. Um, there's rumors there's going to be two Black Panthers, um, but we know for sure that Shuri is going to be at least one of these new Black Panthers. Um... And then also one other thing I wanted to kind of squeeze in here um, before I get into the big villain topic here is um, a couple weeks ago, one of the people high up in Disney basically confirmed that we will not be getting a digital scene with Chadwick Boseman, which makes sense. But at the same time, I think it would be a cool way to honor him um, by doing that because like just doing one quick scene could be really cool. Like, if Shuri becomes the Black Panther, maybe it could be after she gets the heart-shaped herb and she's in the ancestral plane. And then you just get, basically, a digital version of Chadwick Boseman's T'Challa basically passing the torch and telling her that she deserves this. She's going to be great as the Queen and the Black Panther. And I just think that would be really, really awesome to see. Um... But it doesn't sound like that's going to happen. Um, so, I mean, that's fine. But i definitely like to see something like that. Um, but now let's get to the the big news of this whole uh, news fest here with Black Panther 2. Um, because Tinoch Hereta probably said that wrong. Uh, he has been... He's not officially cast in the film yet, but he is in deep talks to play the villain of the film. Now, who is the villain of the film? We don't know for sure yet. Up until this point, we pretty much all assumed that it was going to be Namor the Submariner. But maybe with them reshifting things and changing things around, that had to change. And so far, from what I've been seeing from rumors and theories with this casting, or at least, you know, almost casting, is that he is most likely playing the White Tiger. Um, which I think would be really cool, um, because White Tiger is a really cool character in the comics, and usually not a villain. I think he, the character was framed as a villain, but then he wasn't actually a villain, and then also this could lead to, um, some more characters being introduced, because, um, the character of White Tiger, at least the original version, is Hector Ayala, um, and I, I don't know too much about the character, but I know that he became the White Tiger. Uh, he had this um, this green tiger medallion thing that gave him powers very similar to Black Panther. Um, so that we could totally see something similar to this in Black Panther 2, just kind of like an evil version. And then what I would love to see branch off of this is his daughter... Um, Ava Ayala, um, who becomes the White Tiger in the comics, and she's kind of like the actually the main White Tiger. And there's been rumors for a while now that she would actually be c- showing up in the MCU sometime soon. I remember months ago now, 
Um, I saw some sort of rumor saying that White Tiger was going to be in Black Panther 2, and now it seems like that may actually be happening. So I think this would be awesome to have um, these two characters in there, and then you could even have like a father versus daughter battle there, which I think would be pretty cool. And then by the end of the movie, maybe it could be... Um, like her father gets kind of redeemed and he, he like he sees the wrongs that he did but then he dies anyway and then she gets the medallion and then she becomes the white tiger and then she could get her own Disney Plus series or something like that. I don't know. I, I, I mean, I definitely like to see that. I love this character. She was on uh, Ultimate Spider-Man um, and I, that was my introduction to the character and I really liked uh, uh, the character based off that show. That, so I I'd love to see her in the MCU, and this would be a great way of doing it, um, and, you know, totally, this guy, um, Tenok Harita, could totally be playing Namor the Submariner, but I, I, I don't know, I, I really don't know, just like pretty much everything else with this film, it, it's pretty, everything is uncertain, we don't really know what's going to happen, we kind of just have to wait and see, um, so guys, let me know down in the comments below, what do you think of all this news about Black Panther 2? 2. The returning cast, the production start, uh, the Shuri's bigger role, and then of course the villain with Tina Karita possibly playing White Tiger, or maybe even Namor, or some other villain. So let me know down in the comments below, guys, what do you think about all this news, and thanks so much for watching. Please drop a like if you enjoyed this video, and hit the subscribe button so I can keep you up to date on everything that goes on in the Marvel life.